climate change, the biggest problem for humans to face. It must be managed urgently. We know with overwhelming evidence that climate change is happening and we are on track to have a 3.7 to 4.8 degrees Celsius temperature increase by the end of the century. While this doesn't sound like much, it will result in irreparable damage to coastlines and forests. Action must be taken. Right now, there are over 800 million people globally, 10% of the world's population, that are already feeling the impacts of climate change, and this is only going to get worse without any action. Conservation International aims to address this by helping communities adapt and is currently working to prevent further suffering by reducing emissions and enhancing carbon storage, including through the restoration of wetlands to enhance water storage, protecting communities from storm surges. Only 2% of global climate investment is used for natural solutions, even though it is one of the most economical methods of tackling climate change. The organization has been working with governments and communities to establish policies, securing sustainable financing to protect wetlands, and also works with the private sector to restore ecosystems, providing jobs for locals. The global population is in a period of rapid growth. The UN has projected a population of 8.5 billion by 2030, with starvation and dehydration as issues today, and a population that is growing in wealth, resulting in the production of more resource-intensive food. Another challenge is the global food supply, especially when only 2.5% of the world's water supply is fresh water, and only 0.3% of that is in liquid form on surfaces. A huge 70% of the world's fresh water is used for agriculture. Our food supply relies on our fresh water supply, and demand is set to increase by 35% by 2030. Scientists at Conservation International are looking into how farmers can increase production sustainably and ending overfishing, of which 30% of fisheries are overexploited or even depleted. Agriculture is responsible for 80% of deforestation annually, which accounts for 11% of human-caused greenhouse gas emissions, with 120 prescription drugs worldwide originating from forest plants. We rely on forests both for the planet and for our health. Again, by working with communities, CI aims to protect tropical forests, which are a huge help in mitigating the effects of climate change by 30%. The organization monitors forests internationally, helping to target their conservation efforts, in part by determining natural capital, which is not usually considered. As an example, countries with a low gross domestic product are often rich in biodiversity but governments and businesses can overuse these resources, harming the world environmentally in the long run. By using existing data, CI maps ecosystems such as water sources and carbon storages, allowing for governments and businesses to tackle decisions on a more detailed grounds, including the underestimated value of natural resources. Over 1.2 billion people live with water scarcity, and this is made worse by the growing intensity and frequency of droughts and floods destroying vulnerable ecosystems and harming communities, to the extent that by 2025, a huge two-thirds of the planet's population may face water shortages, which will almost certainly disrupt livelihoods and communities. Over the past two years, Cape Town has been preparing for day zero, when civilians would only have a daily ration of water. Many other supplies around the world are already dry, and by 2030, water demand may exceed supply by as much as 40%. CI works to restore freshwater ecosystems and supplies critical services to people affected by these damaged ecosystems. So, as you can see from the work I have described, Conservation International provides much needed cutting edge science and data to governments to help wildlife communities and most importantly the future of our planet. As a world leader in what they do, CI is always observing and analyzing scientific data to get the most out of nature and protect our worldwide ecosystem through innovative techniques. CI has been working hard on finding the best solutions to all of these problems I mentioned and more through huge projects that I haven't even mentioned, such as restoring the coral reefs of Costa Rica, protecting the greater Mekong region, managing many other seascapes globally, protecting Indonesia from deforestation and heavy pollution, and many more. I actually had to cut so much out of this video due to the immense level of work that CI undertakes. See my other video for more information. There is no avoiding the effects of climate change, and we must all face the consequences together. 
With your vote, money from this year's Project Forsen will go to CI for protected areas and the work around Earth, directly benefiting communities with education, health services, agricultural support, jobs made possible by the organization's work with the private sector, and ultimately, a more successfully managed climate. Vote and help fund essential projects to prevent deforestation and aid in the production of carbon offsets via the Carbon Fund which has reduced carbon emissions equivalent to removing 1 million cars from use for one year. Vote and help communities thrive, both biodiverse ecosystems and countries economically, combating both poverty and climate change. Please vote for Conservation International to make a change, and please donate to this year's Project for Awesome. More information is available at the website.